Hi Leo, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your general love reading for May 2018. This is for Leo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate for you, so do check your other signs if you need to. Uh, if you would like to get a personal reading from me, the description box below this video has all of the links. You can go to my website and book it there, or you can just uh, book it directly through PayPal. Okay, so you can also friend request me on Facebook, Moon Pie Tarot. The link is below as well. And yeah, I'm on Instagram and Twitter, just like all the others. So you can definitely check it out there. Um, now, you know, I just did Cancer's reading and I completely forgot to pull a card from the Romance Angels Oracle deck. So I think if any of you Cancers are listening to this Leo reading, I will uh, pull a card and then put it in the description box by text. Um, so let me pull for you guys your overall energy for love and advice from this deck here. Okay. You have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Very interesting. Um, let me read from that just to get more. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. But I'd like to see um, this card indicates that an ex-lover may be re-entering your life. The person, the first person you think of is likely who it will be. The purpose of this reconciliation is to achieve healing and closure with respect to your past. You will understand more about yourself and see your relationship patterns more clearly. You'll also take responsibility for the role you played in the relationship's drama, which will free you from the tyranny of unforgiveness. Reconciliations are ultimately about taking care of unfinished business. This card could also possibly mean making peace with a family member or friend. Each relationship is a sacred learning experience, so be open to this reunion's lessons and blessings. Ultimately, all healings help your love life and every other part of your world. So when this card shows up, this is not only just a romantic situation. This can be with family members or friends. So... The energy is calling for healing in a particular relationship. So let's see how your cards, what the tarot has to say for you for this time. So you're definitely your past position, the nine of swords, that stressful energy, anxiety, maybe difficulty sleeping at night over something or some type of, or an issue that had occurred in the past. Um, the Nine of Swords, you know, there's anxiety, grief. There could have been some hospitalization or rehabilitation, rehab. Some of you may have a partner who, uh, or a person in your life who had a, an addiction of some sort. Um, there may have been depression, either you or the other person, but I'm just getting an overall sense of grief in the past in regard to someone in particular or something in particular. Okay, it could have to do with a uh, the f the four the four of wands is, you know, that card always represents homecoming celebrations with family, friends or a wedding. Um, so there could have been anxiety or a situation over a situation or something about leaving home, leaving a family member, leaving a marriage or um a relationship or partnership, moving out. Um, maybe uh, there was some type of an argument that caused stress, something along those lines. Now, your present energy is the King of Pentacles. So, of course, as with all readings, I have to say that some of you could have been dealing with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. This person comes across as being solid and practical, um, a hard worker, because they're in the upright, okay? Um, someone who's resourceful, domesticated, uh, either a good father or mother or child or whoever, whatever, whoever, whatever they are. Um, 
Now, I know some of you may listen to this and say, uh, okay, yeah, he was or she was, is an earth sign, but they were in the reverse for such a long time. Um, and when the king of pentacles is in reverse, this is someone who could be stubborn, jealous, uh, someone who doesn't follow through. They could be greedy, envious, and financially dependent on you. So when I see the king of pentacles in the upright, you know, there's two sides to every person. Okay, we all have our, our positives and our negatives. And it really just depends on how you view this person. So for some of you, it could be that this person was in the upright. But for others... It could be someone who actually displayed the other traits. Okay, so it really just depends. Now, it's crossed by the Ten of Cups. Okay, so definitely a family situation, again, that I'm feeling here. Or marriage. Um, there's a reunion that is wanting to happen okay that's wanting to take place um a family reunion a reunion with a with a partner or another person there is this needing for love and support that's wanting to take place but it's it's a challenge it's a benefit for this to happen if it can because of, as I was saying, this reconciliation card and healing. But it's a challenge. So you you may be, you or another person, there, there may be some type of a block to this. Okay. Um, I'm just going to clarify what that block could be. Queen of Cups in the reverse. So the block could be that someone is not... Someone is either very uh, smothering or insecure, or there could be an addiction that is in the way. Okay. Um, so I feel like for a lot of you, and so when I say addiction, it doesn't have to just be drugs and alcohol. It could be food addiction. It could be sex addiction, porn addiction. It could be like any anything that another person is severely attached to that prevents the relationship from healing okay whether it's you or the other person okay but healing is definitely being called for so what's driving you is the four of pentacles and i'm sensing that you especially with this card that you know you have a desire for long-term security but there's a fear of change so you're holding on to maybe an idea or uh, a hope that things could get better and in your thought process you have the six of wands so you know you you do want victory within the situation oops the three of wands fell out here while well, i was thinking of clarifying clarifying the four of pentacles um so the three of wands is also about teamwork. Um, you know, y y I feel like you want the other person, you know, to come together and work with you to try to make things right, but they might not be ready just yet. Okay, they might just not be ready. And the six of wands... Yeah, look, the King of Pentacles now, again, in the reverse. You're also, even though you're wanting this, you might not feel like this person is stable yet because here they're in the upright and then they're in the reverse, okay? And that's okay. If that person is not stable yet, then why would you want to try to resume a relationship with someone who's not quite stable yet? You know, even if they are taking time out to, you know, even if they are trying to get, if it, there's an addiction and they are trying to sort that out or something going on with them, um, even though you may wish to reconcile and have healing and things like that, it may take a little bit longer than uh, you want. And I feel like you, you may understand this. And I do feel like, you know, you will wait for them to 
uh, sort out whatever it is they need to sort out. Okay, so your future, near future here is the Five of Cups. And so that card represents having a loss or regret or grief, feeling abandoned and unloved. And that could come as a result of this situation here that's been going on. Okay, so you, you know, maybe in the month of May, you may start to feel like, you know, or not just you, but there could be just an energy of regret or loss coming from both sides. Now I want to clarify, oops, the five of cups. Maybe somebody's or a, a separation of some sort is, is inducing these emotions of regret or loss. And here's the queen of pentacles. Okay, um, so there is, so I feel like definitely dealing with perhaps water or earth, but there is this energy of, of feeling like a loss of perhaps an earth sign, male or female, as I was saying here. Okay, but this queen of pentacles, I feel like for her or he, this person is getting themselves balanced and so are you and so there could be this you know perhaps needing to see this person in a better light or they needing to see you in a better light uh, but the queen of pentacles the pentacles generally are a sign of stability okay page of cups fell out as I was talking about her so I do feel like this other person does have a sense of feeling uh, loss and they do want to try to uh, reach out to you and you know offer their cup back to you again you know to try to maybe make things work or to rebirth something the page of cups is a very simple offer it's a very simple message so you may uh, some at some point in may encounter this person they may not go overboard with you know large diatribes of love and messages and things like that but it may just be a simple little message for you um, whether this is a male or female just something like you know very simple like a text i love you or um you know, if you can just think of the most innocent, sweet thing that can be said, almost childlike, something would a child would say, but nothing deep. Okay. So your advice here, you have the two of pentacles. So you have some choices to make. You have options that you're weighing. Um, and I do feel like it's important for you to find balance within this partnership okay it's give and take and your advice is to think about what the options are for you to induce your own healing path or to put yourself in this place where you know you don't want to try to hold up the rest of the world if you're not saving yourself because then you'll be crushed you need to just perhaps take it take it easy which is what the two of pentacles is this if this relationship is to resume again it needs to have equal balance one working for the other kind of the yin and yang how they go together okay so i feel very strongly that your advice during this time you know with the six of swords in the reverse is really just to I guess I could say try to let go of <clears throat> whatever chaos or friction or anxiety or grief you may have felt with this person because that's what that reconciliation card is about healing um, because that's perhaps the first step for you okay um 
the other person, they have the Page of Pentacles here. So again, Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. And so the Page of Pentacles really is that, I feel this person really does place high value on the relationship that they have with you. Um, there could be some news, family news coming for you or something coming up or a message or you get invited to a family event or some type of event where you may see this person and they, they make a peace offering to you, which is what the Page of Cups is. And I feel like this person, you know, it's a favorable time for this to happen as well. So it could happen in May. But the Wheel of Fortune is definitely like, you know, the wheel, things are turning. The tides are turning. There's change coming. Okay. So I feel like this person, you know, has been making major changes in their life as well. And, you know, they, they want to tell you or, or, you know, or send a message to you that they have changed or they are in the process of changing. And, you know, I feel that's very good. And that's something that you probably wanted from them. Your hopes you have the Page of Cups again. So you do want to hear from them. And I do feel like you will. Again, something very sweet and innocent. You, In a way, you kind of fear it because you might not trust it. Um, but that's okay. You don't have to fully trust it. You maybe just have to stay a bit detached in some way until you, you know, can see that perhaps this person is making changes or they are trying, right? So your outcome is the moon with the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like some light will, some light will start to be shed. You know, whatever illusions that were occurring within this relationship or this partnership um, or whatever secrets, okay, somebody there's voluntary changes being made here. So that's effort. Okay. And I feel like you're going to start seeing the fruits of that labor towards the end of May, either with this person or within general, within the relationship. I, I just feel like things will start to get better. Okay. Any lies that were, <clears throat> any lies that were told will begin to be uncovered. And, the Knight of Pentacles is someone who, you know, is reliable. And the and this energy is reliable. So you can begin to trust. Maybe not a hundred percent, but I feel like this energy is coming towards you where some lies that were told, the truth comes out. Uh, this is a slow moving process as well. Um, but there will be effort and hard work that will begin to show that you will begin to see from this, whoever this person is. And, and this, I really feel like is what you've wanted is the truth. You've just wanted the truth because when you're caught in a fog, you know, how can you find your way out if it's just so there's no vision for you. The truth sets people free. And I feel like this, tr these truths will begin to come out. And this is what you've wished for with the nine of cups. You know, good health. This is what you're wishing for. Good, healthy relationship. And you'll get that. And you will. Things will begin to slowly start to repair themselves. Okay. And the five of swords in the reverse. So no more uh, controlling. Okay. Peace after trouble. And uh, maybe a fair fight in the sense that there's consideration someone will not be trying to control a situation anymore or um, trying to be the winner regardless of how things go. And so I feel that's very promising for you, especially if you have been dealing with someone who um, was trying to control you in the past or you felt controlled by. There's healing happening on both sides here. So 
I do feel there will be reconciliation. I don't feel like it's going to just, you're going to see each other and then boom, you're right back where you are. I feel like it's little baby steps that will occur to induce healing within this relationship. And I feel that's very positive. So I don't need to clarify any more for this reading. Um, again, just remember this energy may have already played out for some of you or could play out in May or could play out in June. Okay, but the healing will begin, and in June, perhaps you will really, the ball will really start rolling. Okay, so I've said okay like a thousand times, so I'm going to end your reading here. Again, if you wish for a personal reading, check the description box below, and I hope you all have a wonderful May, and I'll talk to you soon. All right, thanks. Bye.